We have a very serious problem in the United States. We have an epidemic of diabetes. And what's most important is that we have almost 89 million Americans that have what we call prediabetes, which is a condition that makes your risk for developing full-blown diabetes much higher. Fortunately, there's been research that's been done over the last two decades that shows that we could make a significant reduction in the risk of developing diabetes by having you lose a modest amount of weight and a modest amount of physical activity. The problem is most people need help to do this. Good news is programs have been developed that help us do that. The bad news is there's very few of them still available. We still have a huge issue in ramping up a sufficiently large mechanism so people can take advantage of these types of programs. So we decided to try a study using a commercial company that in fact has the business of weight loss and lifestyle change. And we used Weight Watchers. They're the world's largest organization that provides weight loss services, but it has never attacked the issue of prediabetes and diabetes risk reduction. So we tried it out. We did a randomized trial to find out could they in fact achieve the same level of performance as has been done in other research using lifestyle curriculums. Turns out that they did a very good job. The results were very positive, came out absolutely uh, as, as good as any other entity that's been tested to date. But it has a couple of unique advantages, which I'm very excited about from a public health perspective. Well, those advantages really are that there's a lot of them out there now. There's 25,000 Weight Watcher groups in the United States today. That compares to two or 3,000 programs which are now at other community sites like the YMCA are ones that are, have been established in churches or workplaces. The second thing we know is that the program is designed to allow people to drop in and out of it. So one of the problems with the diabetes prevention curriculums that are in existence is they're sequential. You have to start with session one, you go to session 16, most of them are a 16 session model. And if you miss a couple of sessions, too bad, you know, it's hard to make them up. Weight Watchers is designed to allow you to drop in and out, sort of at your convenience, allow you to sort of participate when you in fact can make the event. And it has the added advantage of having multiple places within the same environment. So for example, here in Indianapolis, we have 13 YMCAs that are offering diabetes prevention programs. We have 130 Weight Watcher programs in the same geographic region. And all of them will hopefully and soon start doing diabetes prevention oriented programming. Uh, it's a public health uh, uh, event that is potentially of transformative property. It was, this may be the first time that we could really scale up diabetes prevention at a public health level.